We were very excited to get the landmark decision for the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act decision today because we've been expecting this for quite some time. And a lot of care went into loading this. Uh, we actually got the information and had it loaded to Westlaw Novus in less than a minute after receipt. Uh, our standard is five minutes for Supreme Court decisions. And in this case, uh, we had a staff of literally dozens of people involved in a live conference call to make sure that we uh, got the information as quickly as it was available, loaded it as quickly as we possibly could, and uh, we were faster than SCOTUS blog and even the Supreme Court website by about eight minutes and faster than Lexis by more than an hour. A lot of work went into that across legal editorial groups and technology groups uh, to make that happen in a very, very efficient manner uh, and made it look very easy, although uh, a, lot of, a lot of work really went into that. What we're also very proud of uh, are the editorial enhancements that really make the, the, the content sing on, on platforms like Westlaw Next. Uh, the ability of someone to get access to the information very quickly is important, uh, but to really be able to find the information using key number searches and West Search on Westlaw Next, which is really powered by the editorial work, to be able to understand what the decision really means for them at a glance. Uh, this one is a very lengthy decision, and to be able to see in a synopsis and head notes really all the points of law that are covered and specifically what it means to them, regardless of what they might be seeing out on various blog posts and news sites, what does it really mean uh, as understood by somebody who really understands how to dissect the judicial opinion? Well, it's one thing to get the opinion online as quickly as possible because we have many of our customers that are um, anxiously awaiting what the decision means uh, for their clients and for their practice. Uh, but we also want to add information to these decisions as quickly as possible, especially uh, a decision like this one. Uh, we want to add key site history treatment. Uh, which tells people who are looking at the lower court opinions uh, what's happened up on appeal at the Supreme Court level. We also want to add our headnote treatments, which uh, include a synopsis telling people in a nutshell what really happened within the decision at a glance. And every headnote, which uh, speaks to every specific point of law within the decision, uh, adding search terms where necessary to aid in research uh, uh, enhancements and research uh, ability. And we also want to make sure we apply key number treatments. Uh, our key number classifications, which enable people to find on-point material within their research, is very important for research. And in addition, in Westlaw Next, key numbers play a critical role in West Search. In addition to the direct judicial work that we're doing within, uh, within the opinion, there are other things that need to happen as a result of this opinion being issued. Uh, one of them, certainly the Federal Act itself, uh, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. Uh, people are waiting to see what the impact is going to be on it. And we work in the judicial department with the people in the codes editorial group to make sure that we have posting information available on the applicable federal act provisions so that researchers will know whether something has been held unconstitutional if that's, uh, if that's appropriate. There are also activities that take place within the analytical area. The analytical research tools, which are the, uh, the practice tools that, that attorneys use every day in their law practice to, to let them know how to practice law in certain topical areas. Uh, there are supplements going out for many publications that will need to include uh, updates on what this decision really means for them. And those supplements are actually being uh, prepared uh, in the context of what this decision uh, means for those practitioners. So supplements that are impacted will be held in time to have this information now added, uh, and that's going to be very important for those people who subscribe to those products. Uh, in addition, we will have special materials coming out uh, with respect to special reports, uh, litigation reporters that focus specifically on health care provisions that will speak specifically to this decision um, and uh, let people know really what it, what it means for them.